when I look in the mirror, I'm like, girl, you really did that? Hey y'all, I have not done a makeup video in a long time, but I'm so excited to share with you guys this updated makeup tutorial that I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. It's honestly eating. I've gotten so many compliments anytime I've gone anywhere with this makeup. I even ordered chilies the other day for carry out. Get in, we're going to chilies. The girl that brought me my food was like, oh my gosh, your makeup looks so good. I was like, thank you. So yeah, I'm really excited to share this updated makeup routine with you guys. This is not a less is more, no makeup makeup. So if that's what you're looking for this is not it I am very much wearing makeup in person it is very much apparent that I'm wearing makeup and there's nothing wrong with that I do love a natural beat for you know every day but this is like I'm about to go out to dinner or just want to have a lot of makeup on for the day because like I said I'm pulling out all the stops for this one this I'm baking and all of that I'm gonna insert some videos so you can see what it looks like with my iPhone in different lighting if you guys like this video please make sure you guys give it a like and subscribe down below so that we can be friends follow me on my socials as well I'm a little bit more active on there let's get into the tutorial so we're starting off with a clean face I do have lash extensions on these are the lash extensions that I wear all the time these are little black dress by kiss they are like strip lashes but I cut them up into clusters and I apply them underneath my lash Lashes with a lash bond. All of that is in my Amazon storefront if you guys want to check it out. I know y'all see it shining. Hydrating your skin properly before you do your makeup is key and also letting it sit for at least 20 minutes to really absorb into your skin before you put the makeup on. You don't want to just slap skincare on and then slap makeup on on top of it, okay? I do still use my tried and true Benefit 24 hour brow setter as my brow gel. I heard that the Rare Beauty one is good too, so I think I'm going to try that one soon, but I've tried a few other brow gels like I tried the elf one that's in the jar I didn't like it it didn't like hold my brows up the way that I want I want them to be like got to be glued down you know what I'm saying I don't want them to move I actually need to get another one because this one's almost out but I just kind of brush the product through my brows like this to make sure they're all evenly coated and then I brush my brows up and then I take the flat side and I brush them through again, but I flatten them basically to my skin. Like this. So that they look like the soap brow laminated thing. I know some people like to leave them like that, but I don't. And then I'm just going to go straight across to make them really clean. Just like that. And then boom, my brow is done. Okay, brows are shaped. To fill my brows in, I'm using this Morphe Brow Definer Pencil. It's the thicker one. I don't fill them in too heavy. I just kind of go wherever I feel like it's a little sparse and needs a little bit. And I just follow the hair. Sometimes I'll clean them up underneath with concealer, sometimes I don't. Today, I'm not gonna do that. I am going to prime my face with my setting spray. The Too Faced Makeup Insurance Setting Spray. For certain setting sprays, please make sure that you shake it. Because quite literally, you might just ruin your makeup at the end if you don't. Let that dry down in true dawn fashion. I'm just gonna spot conceal. I'm using the NARS Creamy and Radiant Concealer in Macadamia. I just have a few areas I feel could use a little lightening before I put on foundation. You're gonna see that I'm gonna be using all kinds of brushes. <laughs> Real Techniques brush. Blend those out with a light hand. Make sure you have certain products that work for your skin. If you have oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, whatever the case may be, application definitely matters. Milani's Conceal and Perfect in the shade Medium Beige. My face is a lot lighter than my body right now. I know y'all can see it. It's starting to be really cold here. So your yeah, girl has not gotten as much sun as I should have. So my foundations are a little dark right now. Apply this to my hand first. I'm gonna apply it with a really damp beauty blender. Wet it, you know, squeeze the water out, whatever, and then take a towel, paper towel or something, put it around the beauty blender, and then squeeze it a couple more times. So it's like damp to the touch, but it's not overly drenched with water. And apply this everywhere, avoiding the under eye area. Well, this actually matches me pretty well right now. I was putting my foundation on with a brush for a while, which that works too, but 
I started using my beauty blender again and I don't know I just really love the finish of a beauty blender don't forget to bring this down to your neck so that's the finish for the foundation. Concealer, again, is the NARS Creamy Radiant in Macadamia. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this here, like underneath the crease of my eye, and spread it out, angling up underneath my eye as well. I have deep set eyes, so I wanna go underneath the crease right here onto the bridge of my nose. This might seem like a lot of concealer, but I'm really just pulling out the product that was already on here. And then angling up and down the bridge of my nose. Some here, and then some right here. Just a tiny bit where my smile lines are. And I love having smile lines, because it just proves that you smile a lot and you like to laugh. While it's drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my contour. Fancy Beauty's Matchstick in Mocha. My face is kind of like in between square slash round. It's kind of sharp, but then again, I have like rounded, you know, edges and stuff. I'm gonna start here, more down like a slight versus like just going in this way. Like that. I'm gonna bring that into my hairline and blending up like this. I like to use dabbing motions instead of swiping it. This definitely varies depending on your face shape. I don't have very prominent cheekbones, like I said, more rounded up here, and then my face is like kind of square down here. And then I'm gonna carve out my jaw. I'm not gonna be as precise on my nose just because I'm going to be more precise when I put powder. I'm gonna blend out my concealer with my beauty blender again using light dabbing motions. I do not use a heavy hand at all. Uh, and I'm bringing this down, bringing this up. I'm blurring the edges out pretty much. I'm not moving the product too much by going like this. Um, and then I'm lightly dabbing out the edges up to my bridge. Again, I'm not going here yet. I'm gonna put more concealer on. <laughs> Bringing the edges down lightly and blending out my smile lines. Blending the edges towards the bridge of my nose. And then blending the area by the corner of my eye up. Slightly tapping the nose contour. So that's what we're working with. NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in a lighter shade. This is in Custard. And I'm gonna focus this on the crease of my eyes. And I'm gonna let that dry. While I'm letting that dry down, I'm gonna add in some blush. This is the Lip & Cheek Balmy Tint in the new line by YSL Beauty. This is in the color New Chills. It is a very pretty color. It's like a purpley pink. It's really perfect for the girlies that have some pigment in their skin. I'm gonna take a little bit and again, put it on my hand. Load a brush up. I do want like a heavier blush. Focusing this on the apples of my cheeks and then bringing it up into my temple. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna go in with my setting spray again before I blend out my concealer. Shake it. Now I'm gonna go in with that Real Techniques brush and blend out this concealer. So we're just gonna lightly tap it and go underneath our eye. I like to go in with a brush for this part because it kind of gets into the creases of my eye. Bringing it down. Look at that glow! Again, just blurring the edges. It's giving healthy glow. You can definitely see that I have deep set eyes in this lighting with it like reflecting off, but once I put powder on, you're not gonna be able to tell. Okay, and honestly, they're not that bad in person. Now we're gonna go in with Maybelline's Fit Me Pressed Powder. This is in Natural Beige 220. I'm gonna apply this with a powder puff. I'm gonna load it up. I'm gonna also dab it on my hand a few times. Before you do it, make sure that you go over the creases again one more time if you need to. 
press this into my under eyes. Looking up. And y'all see? Yeah. Like genuinely, it looks so good. I do have the Sony A5100, so there is a soft face filter. I tried to turn it off years ago and it doesn't come off. It will do like the low settings. So I, I genuinely can't turn it off. I have so many gripes with this camera specifically. Eventually I'm gonna get a new one, but I'm gonna insert pictures of what this looks like with my phone camera and my phone video so you guys can see in like different lighting what it looks like. Once I do put the powder right there, it just, it disappears. And then I'm gonna bring this down the bridge of my nose to my smile line and also underneath my contour. And here on my chin where I put my concealer. Um, I'm not gonna put it here on the blush area or the contour because I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set it with contour powder and blush. Please make sure that you get into your nose creases as well. And a little bit on the forehead so we're not looking greasy. I'm gonna take Huda Beauty's Easy Bake Powder in Cupcake and I'm actually gonna go in with my Damp Beauty Blender that I use but I'm gonna use the pointy part because I want a little bit of a bright under eye. So I'm going to just focus that underneath my eyes. I'm also going to bring it up the bridge of my nose a little high. And down my smile line. Because I feel like that needs a little extra setting. So while that's baking, we're going to do our bronzer and our blush. When I look in the mirror, I'm like, girl, you really did that? Glowish by Huda Beauty in the shade Rich. Big fluffy brush. Then I take a smaller brush to do my nose. I'm gonna dab it into the bronzer a little bit. I don't like to make it too prominent. I like it to be a little more natural. Bring it into the crease of my eye. Oh, that was a little bit too much. Hold on. Okay. But on top of the bridge of my nose versus just the side and lightly trace the sides of where I put that concealer. Same for this side. Making sure you bring it into your eyelid. Then bring it down. I'll go in with my finger to make it more natural. Essence's Baked Blush in the color Bold Heart on a brush, some blush on a brush, and put it in those same areas. Bringing it up. And then on the apples of my cheeks, again, it's going to go into the powder that we we're baking with. Again, this just makes me feel so fun and flirty and I'm just so happy that I'm doing makeup again. Now I'm going to basically dab away and wipe away this powder. Don't go too hard because you might mess up your makeup. Lightly swipe if you feel like you need to. And then I just kind of bring it all over my face dabbing it everywhere so that everything is really set powder down to my neck shout out to the girls who eyelids have color on them so they don't ever feel the need to put anything on it setting spray one more time and make sure y'all hold it a decent ways away golden flower crown by wet n wild sworn by it for years I'm just gonna grab some on my pinky and put it in my inner corners. For lips, I'm just gonna go real simple. The brown lip pencil by NYX. It is just a brown one. I wanna find a good cool toned brown lip liner. I'm just gonna line my lips. And starting from the bottom and bringing it up to my cupid's bow. Blend it out with my finger a little bit. And instead of a lipstick, we're gonna go with the Laneige Sleeping Mask. This is the berry one. And 
nice and hydrating and natural. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it as much as I did filming it. It's definitely doing what it needs to do. If you guys test it out, let me know what you think. And if you guys want to see something else, leave it in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.